Hello again, squaddies. Welcome back once again to Randota. That's a little loud. Or, it sounded a little loud to me. As always, though, I am D, your host for the show where the meta doesn't matter. This is from the ESL1 2019 Karafiche. I think I'm saying that right. If I'm not, please correct me in the comments. But uh, it's from... I don't remember the exact... Yeah, uh, back to dashboard real quick. Yeah, there we go. Uh, ESL1 Katafiche 2019 powered by Intel. This is game two of three. I missed game one between Team Spirit, currently on the Radiant side, and Vegas Squadron on the on the Dire. Now this is going to be a good one because Spirit, they've been pretty strong for a while. I'm not sure about recently. And Vega, <laughs> Vega's a lot like Alliance from from the days after TI3, where they have really strong days where it's just they cannot, it seems like they cannot be beaten. And then they've got days where it's like, you get a you get a stack of five puppies and they could probably take them out. That's a bit of an exaggeration, of course. Vega's actually a very good team, but you get what I'm saying. Well, let's go ahead and introduce the teams, though, shall we? First off, we have a new member on Vega. I haven't seen Pexu before, but he's playing the Oracle in the bottom lane for Team Vega. Maybe. We have maybe next time on the Beastmaster. And Madara, kind of a legend himself, playing the Luna in, in the new Luna set, actually. <laughs> this is the Raidforged Ra Rider. What the Golden Moonfall. I like the hair for the Raidforged Rider. Actually, it looks like they're going to be going top lane, ma leaving maybe next time. Currently soloing down here against Hesta Joe Rotten for Team Spirit on the Centaur War Runner. Oh, Kezu's coming down mid. Or come down to the bottom lane to help out. He's on the Venomancer for Team Vega. Vega Squadron. We have Maggie playing the Tiny in the mid lane up against Nine on the Rana. Meanwhile, for Team Spirit in top lane, we have FNG on Silencer. Biver's playing the Tusk. And Skyder. Or Sk I'm going to call I'm gonna go Skyder playing the Phantom Assassin. We did have a rotate an early rotation. Oddly enough, it wasn't with the it, they did it with, while saving their TP scrolls. Maybe next time to actually come up top. Kezu's taken over bottom lane. This is a weird three man three on three game. So there's three one one from both teams. Oh, maybe next time. Maybe this time, folks. That said, Biver is taking a bit of damage. Not quite as much. I can see what they're trying to do though. They're trying to get FNG fed early on with some stolen int. So you gotta remember, Silencer has that passively now. He's had that for a long time. We'll see how this goes, because this is an... Just having the Phantom Assassin up here means that there's gonna be a lot less damage being done to the carry for Spirit. Just because of just because of the fact that she's hard to hit. Although the archer is to come out. Maybe next time it might actually be this time. Can they get one more? Yes they can. First blood comes out. And then actually goes to Skyder. So that's doubly bad. I don't know if he actually got I don't think FNG got any stolen intelligence from that. No he didn't, because that was outside because he uh, Maybe next time it was up here, Sky, uh, FNG was down here, so that's outside 925. Madara, in trouble. Out comes the Fortune's End, but not going to be enough. As FNG gets that one, so he definitely got four stolen int from there, as he helped, pe he helped take down Pexu for Biver. So that's four stolen int already. Silencer's off to the races. They did keep it. Yeah, he is still a primary. He's still an int hero. Problem is that also means that there's lower intelligence on the side of Vega up here. <laughs> Meanwhile, mid lane's actually been pretty quiet. Maggie doing doing the work get here. What the? That 
look like the arrow came from this direction. We all saw that, right? Kezu and Hestajo as well being pretty quiet down here. Okay, when you have a tri-lane, when you have tri-lane versus tri-lane, it's gonna be one side's probably gonna end up being pretty aggressive. Maybe both in this, as we've seen in this case. I do like the low ground bounty rune now. Oh, there's. Oh, FNG. Peksu falls. That's another stolen. It. That's more stolen intelligence for FNG. In fact, he's, he he got. No, he didn't get that. He did not get that one. So this is already snowballing out of control, and I don't just mean Tusk. Also, if you're unsure, tag team is his new thing. Because it's negative debuff war around you, causing enemies that are attacked under it to take bonus physical damage and reduce move speed for five seconds. Slow duration only lasts half a second, but it's a seventy-five percent move slow, so pretty heavy hitting. And I was right that his fortune then that keeps trapping people temporarily. This is a rough lane top already for Team Vega, or for the Vega Squadron. Ice shards out to block the bounty rune. Fortune's end. Is that a? That's a. Oh, I'm pretty sure it was a full channel. Oh, they actually buffed Fortune's end. Vega actually ends up getting three of the bounties. A lot of that comes down to think, thanks to Kezu also. Cult of Aktok. Okay, that just that, that just changes how Venomous Gale looks. Nobody's gotten their ultimates yet. We'll see how quickly that changes. Oh, Pexu's in trouble here. The ice shards. Oh! Just on the other side. Stops Skyder from getting to him. Hmm. Oh! We had a rotation. Maggie's in trouble here. He's not making it out of this. And FNG actually got the credit for that kill, so he automatically gets two more intelligence. He's only up to eight, but that's pretty good, actually. At six minutes. Further rotations from Biver as he goes down, trying to get to Kesu. There's the aura, and Hesta Joe just chops down the the banana mancer. Hmm. Well, maybe this one is on the low ground. That's an interesting choice. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. I'm starting to see how Spirit won the first match. My heart beats. Oh, FNG actually falls to Madara here. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. It's not going to get back the stolen intelligence, but that is going to slow him down, which is in, which is also important. Hours. The problem is, Madara is having trouble here, especially now that Skyder is level 5. There's the snowball coming in, alongside the, alongside the stifling dagger. Madara is in trouble, not going to make it out of that. F and G did not get here in time, but Kezu's here as well, and in serious trouble. Oh, the, missed, the, oh, the sacred arrow actually lands on Kezu! And they're also gonna get Pexus. That's that's four more in stolen intelligence for FNJ. Ten to one. That's a bad ratio. At eight minutes. Three K gold lead for Spirit. Pexus comes right back in. Starfall. Just a 
Radiance clear the way. No, clear that. Ice shards lands on Madara, as does the snowball. Scatter jumps forward. Madara is not making it out of that. Neither is FNJ. But Pexu goes down. He's like two for one so far. There's a oh great poison, great poison Nova, or venomous snake. Yeah, there's poison Nova. Toss back as Maggie comes in, just starts just just starts cleaning house. That was a good fight at the end of the day for three for four. I mean, not super great, but Maggie comes in, hits level 11. Yeah, Maggie's the highest level on the in the game. By a margin of at least three. Next one, next one is has to Joe over here at eight, but those three kills in quick succession like that. Tiny just gets stronger and stronger as he gets bigger. I mean, he eventually hits. Yeah, he can sixty bonus damage. Ooh, Maggie picks up, tosses Biver onto FNG. Kezu's here as well as Bizarre Pexu. There's the venomous gale onto Biver. Stampede, not going to be much help here. What ward is that? Watcher of the Virulent Crate. Eh. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Kezu. Jet. Just going to clear the wave. Luna versus Marana, the two moon, the two moon warriors facing off. Thing is, Madara is at level four, very, very much this, the weaker here, especially against level, a level eight Marana. Jumps forward, Sacred Arrow, Starfall, gonna hit both of them on Madara. One more hit and misses, it. and it's and Luna loses this one. But good jukes from Madara, get him out of there. Toss the tree. Toss the creep. That was a good fastball special from time, from Maggie here. Hmm. Yikes! So if you. If you get the Avatos combo, that's 900 damage from the Avalanche. 1200... 1200... Actually, 1400... It's 1300 damage. Roughly. Oh, Maggie's looking... Maggie's suddenly decided, I'm gonna go hunting. Let's go take a look at the bottom lane real quick. It has to join Biber. They have taken out the tier one. Dyer's middle Maybe next time has hit six now, so he's got primal roar. FNG's invisible for a few more seconds because of that moonlight shadow, but Ooh, has to Joe takes down Pes Pexu. There's a walrus punch onto Maggie, but they have to stampede to get away. They can't they have to actually use it to run. I was gonna say, Lucent Beam comes down onto Biber. Hesajo is stuck in the middle. Gets tossed up and just spit on. My venom, your you know, Nine and Biber are beating a hasty retreat here. Skyder and FNG are doing their best to put to split push here on top lane. Tier one is down to about half health. Oh, but this is bad. Maggie's coming in. He's got a blink. He's got the blink avala avalanche toss combo. Just barely.
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Mid tier one's actually gonna fall to the creeps. Global silence comes out. Has to Joe manage to get a good stun onto Maggie. Slows down the pursuit. Flying tree nails Skyder, but not enough for the kill. Just barely. Primal War comes out on FNG as the silence goes away. Doesn't have enough mana for the boomerang axis though. Out comes the snowball. Maybe next time gets Walrus punched up into the sky, FNG's decided, you know what? I need to come back in. Radiant structures are fortified. And FNG actually picks up the kill there. Well, maybe next time for more stolen intelligence. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Maggie doing what Tiny does and just knocking down towers. Going for a Shadow Blade next. That's gonna be fun. Not for Team Spirit, but. Another Moonlight Shadow comes out. So the, the Radiant are currently invisible. They did catch, maybe next time. Again, he's had a rough game. Zero and... Actually, he's only at zero three, so... He is all, also on level seven. Hestijo gets caught out. And deleted. Purifying Flames on, on Kezu. You can stack those now? Two and a quarter on the cooldown. Duration, nine seconds, yeah. Scepter. Scepter upgrades this just for a slow, a lower cooldown. That's not much. Mega kill streak for Maggie as he finds FNG. Tries to, tried to get silence, but <laughs> the avalanche toss combo. Maggie is actually looking like the big hope for Team Ve uh, for Vega Squadron right now. I'm gonna follow this creep. Now, Vega actually have a decent push lineup. I mean, they've got Venomancer and Tiny, so they can just constantly damage towers with Siege. Snowball in. They found Madara. Yes, the Joe gets that one, but eight, 18 stolen intelligence up on FNG's silencer. Oh, this is big. Out of nowhere, Spirit going for the Roshan. The Hawk is here. It spotted this. The arrow misses. They're not going to be in time to do anything, but they might be able to stop the Aegis from, from escaping. Spirit do get the do get the Aegis and they get the Roshan. Maggie goes down though. And suddenly... I say suddenly... Vega are on the back foot, they gotta run. They've already lost Pexu and Maggie. Poison Nova, gotta do some damage, but they can't kill. Unless, they, unless Ice Rock changed it. Poison Nova cannot kill you. And of course, they have to deal with the fact that there's an immortal Skyver, Skyder going all around. They lose three and did not stop the Aegis. Okay, Poison Nova cannot deal lethal damage. Dyer's That's a tier 2 gone. Has
illusions of Madara. But it's looking like Spirit just decided, okay, we got our objective, let's just back off and get some more stuff. Pexu is oddly enough the lowest on the network, but oh, we get here. We get to see, maybe next time, just get annihilated. Maggie's their next target, but he's tough. Pexu, not so much. Maggie did get, oh, good false promise. TPing out, he's gonna make it. So they lose Pexu and they lose maybe next time, but they do save Maggie. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant mid tier one. Kazu coming in to help out there, but the problem is it's looking like it's gonna be a rate a tower trade here. And it's a tier one, a tier one for a tier two. This is just melting. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. I don't think I've ever seen a tower melt that quickly, except against like a tiny with a divine rapier. They're already uh, spirits already high grinding this. There's the ice shards out trying to stop something. In comes a toss. Creep. Global did come out. Kazu is gone as Skyder gets the kill there. Double kill for Skyder. He takes down Pexu. There's a primal roar on to Biver. He's just gonna turn and walk away as he gets avalanche. Poison Nova on, I think three. But it doesn't matter, Biver can just walk away from this. The, the tier 3 is even gone. Triple kill is scattered against Kezu again. Can Kezu buy back? I don't think so. Biver finally falls at, at, as FNG takes down Maggie. But Spirit's just walking all over the base here. Check buyback. Yeah, Kezu got a die back. That's how do they? I mean, I know they got a, a phantom. Oh, phantom assassin has a desolator. I didn't notice that. But they're gonna turn a three kill. They're gonna turn three for one fight into two lanes of racks. This is this is rough. Spirit decide that's enough. We're gonna back off. Radiance middle tower is under attack. That was. That was brutal and efficient. Of course, now the now Vega Squadron can lose the shrines because they've lost an interior building. And we just passed the halfway mark on the Roshan fight, on the Roshan respawn. 26 to 10, but it's actually closer to about 10k gold lead for Spirit. About a 7, 8k experience lead. Actually, it's about 9k, I'm sorry. Actually, no, it was about 8k. I'm doing my math wrong twice. Viper rolls forward, Walrus punches. Hex you into the stratosphere. Maybe next time gets destroyed again. They do have to take down this tier two. But nine's already here, FNG. I think yeah, that was the egg is getting reclaimed. Tier final outer tower is gone for for Team Vega. Or for Vega Squadron. I keep saying Team Vega for some reason. I sure it's pushing Kezzy back just a little bit, not enough to really worry about. Arcane Curse. FNG gets tossed, but he just gets healed up by the by the Purifying Flames. Pes Pexu and Kezu both fall immediately to Skyder once he decides to go in. Modera standing there with the with the Eclipse, but dies as the third part of Mo as of Skyder's triple kill. Quad kill, ultra for Skyder. Is it gonna be a rampage? Not quite as FNG picks up the last one. And that is where FNG, is where Team Spirit wins it. After a brutal 23 minutes. If you enjoyed, please like or favorite the video. And I'll see the comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. If you want to keep up with me and never seen my current series, and consider joining the squad by subscribing to the channel. That helps me out, and I really do appreciate it.
Also, if you have a match you'd like me to check out, send me the match ID number right here at the bottom of the score screen. As for that, Scorties, I have been D. That was a convincing win from Spirit. Nothing else to say. Until next time. Good night. And good gaming.